Hi, my name is Anthony Dick. I'm originally from Cape Town, but I'm currently residing in Makanda, as I'm studying journalism and media studies at Rhodes University. I have three siblings, and I stay with my mom, aunt, and grandparents in Manenburg. For as long as I can remember, I wanted to be a journalist. In 2018, my dream became a reality. I described my first and second year as a roller coaster, a very fun but anxiety-filled ride. Luckily for me, I had my peers with me and we helped one another through every obstacle that came my way, especially those long nights at the journal department. If you asked me on the 31st of December 2019 what I imagined 2020 would be like, I'd have probably said, I don't know, I'll think about it when it comes, but for now, I'm going to just continue dancing. I never imagined 2020 would be this way. I mean, the world has always been a scary place, but I never thought I'd have to deal with it alone. Suddenly, the streets were empty. Handshakes and hugs were forbidden, but masks were mandatory. Being on campus meant staying in your room, avoiding human interaction, too afraid to open your windows, too afraid to do anything that could put you at risk. Days becoming lonelier, eyes more shallow, trying to hold on to connections through technology, yet craving physical touch, craving those moments I took for granted, like basking in the sun with my friends, nights at groove, nursing a hangover the next day, falling asleep easily after a long week of lectures. Instead, I'm tossing and turning. I haven't seen my friends for months. This room makes me feel claustrophobic. I want to walk outside, feel the grass between my toes, have the sun touch my face with my favorite novel in my hand. I want to hug people. I want to start random conversations with people I just met. Instead, my eyes dart back and forth, clutching my sanitizer. This is now life as we know it.